Canada. My name is Geek Lee Russell, King of Red Tubes. We got the King on a card on the bottle, which is a barley wine, which is twenty dollars, which is eleven point nine percent alcohol by your volume. L Anglais, English L. Yeah, it's in French. Yes. There's a whole bunch of logos on this. Marché Village, Village of the Marché. Brassard Illimité from Saint Eustache, Quebec. Might be called collaboration. So sounds there's like two addresses. Ange Gardien, Guardian Angel, <coughs> Quebec, Canada. And Saint Eustache, Quebec, Canada. So I'm pretty sure that is a collab. What is Marché in uh, French? In English, you mean? In English, yeah. What's uh, stores? Marché? Okay. Bunch of stores. Bunch of stores, okay. So stores Brewery? What? Okay. Stores Village. Stores Village. Oh, okay. Or, could mean or, or maybe Village Stores. Maybe. Oh, ooh, ooh, that sounds violent. It's not foaming up though in the actual bottle, so might be safe. It's a big cat. Nothing on the cat. Uh, fancy bottle. Yeah. This better be good. It better be. It smells good from here already. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a waste for me. Thank you, sir. Wow. That is beautiful. You got your perfect barley wine color right there. This dark amber red. Ruby highlights. Is this kind of clear though? Yeah. It is, yeah, but. Wait till you take the fucking smell. Ooh. Oh! Oh, there you go, cocksuckers. Werther's original, bitches. Yeah, it's it's that classic <coughs> English barley wood smell, man. It's got that kind of deep butterscotch Werther's original kind of fucking candy smell. Got kind of that fucking fruitcake kind of smell going on. It's a simple smell, but it's the smell you want. Yeah, it's just straight up classic. Like, no no frills or anything. It's It just fits the profile perfectly. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Yeah. <sighs> straight up classic English barley wine. You think it's lighted for one second, then it explodes. Yeah, um, the smell translates over to the taste perfectly. Doesn't quite go into that uh, shit massive beer reviews doesn't like uh, orange marmalade. Doesn't quite go as big on that as some of these tend to do. But uh, starts off smooth and bitter at the end. But is that ever good? <laughs> mm. Oh, tasty as fuck. God damn. That is worth the 20 bucks for the bottle or whatever you say it was. I'm sure you're paying for the quantity and the Ooh. ABV. Yeah, but... 11.9. Uh, for, for, for that, I would, yeah, I'd pay 20 bucks for that bottle. Fuck yeah. That's a good night right there. Are we taking Angel Sucker too? Oh yeah, hell yeah. I imagine with... Um, your camera's doing something. It made noises. Take a check oh, we're still live. Okay, good. Just making sure. But yeah, um, I imagine you probably age that for several years, and it would probably get more character and uh, complexity going on. But as it stands, it's fucking pretty amazing. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as that um, Thomas Hardy clone that you sent me from a couple no. of years back, but. The, as far as just like solid, straight up fucking English barley wine in style, fucking fits all the bills perfectly. And uh, mm. worth the 20 bucks. Uh, I would 
I would I'd pay for twenty bucks for that bottle. I don't get alcohol burn. No, no alcohol. It's it's smooth as fuck. It's dangerous. Like this is something you drink all night. Sad part is we're gonna be drinking other stuff after this. So and, I, I just for that, like I go nine point four easy for me. Yeah. And we're not recapping this bottle, like this is one we actually gotta kinda finish before we move on to the next beer. So we're in There's not much left, this is uh, scary. I, I think we're still in trouble. <laughs> I think we're still in trouble, guys. Um I'm gonna go uh fuck, I'm gonna go nine. Solid nine. If I and I kinda of imagine with like a year or two years of age, it's probably a ten. But uh, yeah, awesome. Thank you, Gee. Hell to the king, bitches. Hell to the king, cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs>